Okay guys, so today we're gonna go to Sprouts and let me get some flour really quickly. We're gonna be getting some flour uh, to make some brownies, so let me go find it. But first I'm gonna show you where the protein is. So all right here in the vitamin section of Sprouts. Hi. Hi. This is where all the protein powder is, and this is what I recommend is that the vegan stuff is what you get because you can get wholesome pea protein for bodybuilding, okay? Well, let me go find the flour. So all I need is just uh, Bob's Red Mill unbleached all-purpose white powder. That's what I'm going to be using for making the brownies, and let's see here. Just go check out. Okay. Okay, so cop the all white flour. Now I have all the ingredients because I was gonna try to make this earlier in the day and I actually didn't have white flour. I had wheat, whole wheat flour, but I looked up online and I think if I did whole wheat flour to make the brownies, they would have come out like a little grittier and just like more firm than I wanted them to be. So now that we cop the uh, unbleached all white flour, let's go home and make the brownies. So let me find my car here. Okay. I'll see you guys later actually, okay? Hey guys, so now we're in my kitchen. Um, we're gonna be doing brownies today, as you guys know. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Um, and so basically what we're gonna be doing here is just mixing the dry ingredients into the bowl first, okay? And I also wanna mention too that these are gonna be vegan brownies, so um, if you're plant-based, totally fine. Um, by no means are they still like healthy-ish, but they eliminate the excess animal product. So let's get our flour out. Let's do this. And as you saw from Sprout, I got the Bob's Red Mill all-purpose flour, uh, the unbleached one. Let's see here. So what I'm gonna do is do two cups of all-purpose flour, and I'm gonna run it through uh, the sifter, or some people call it a sieve, just to remove any clumps of the flour uh, to prevent clumping um, when we make the brownies. So let's get two cups here. And it has a little crank here, so I'll just crank it, and it runs it through. Okay, let's get the second cup. So as you guys can see, um, as it's coming through the sift, um, there's no clumps in it. It's perfectly smooth, um, no holes at all. Um, but now, Let's get this out of the way. We're done with the flour. Let's see here. Uh, let's move on to the cocoa powder and baking powder next. So, um, for the cocoa powder, we're gonna run it three fourths of a cup through the cocoa powder. So let's see here. And this is um, just regular baking cocoa powder, and it's just 100% cocoa, so it's um, pretty fine and vegan as well. Let me dry this out just a tad. I should also run this through the sifter too, so I'm gonna do, I did one fourth cup already, but we're gonna do uh, three fourths, so let's do the second one. Just run it right through the sifter. Really quickly, okay, and then the last one. And this is how we're gonna emulate that nice chocolatey taste for the brownies. Um, so next, I actually want to do the two cups of sugar next. So let's see. And this is just pure cane sugar I'm using here. Um, I don't like to do the white sugar that's too refined. 
Um, and I'm not too crazy about brown sugar, but I find that pure cane sugar is just the best and it's the most natural. So we're gonna do two cups of it. I might do just a cup and a half because I don't want it too crazy sweet. Um, let me see here. So yeah, I'm doing just like under the rim of the one cup, but I do know that this needs a little love of the sugar. Let's add this next. Let me do one teaspoon of baking powder. Baking powder will help it um, rise a little and get um, that fluffiness of the brownies. Um, you always want to make sure you're using fresh baking powder. You don't want to, to use baking powder that's been sitting there for like a year or more because um, it won't rise as well and it won't give a body to the brownies. Then we're going to do one teaspoon of salt. Um, let's see here. Okay. And I'm gonna make it a fork and just like whisk or stir that around just a tad, or I'll use a whisk to try to mix up the ingredients. So now we're gonna get is this nice kind of like a milk chocolatey look to it, the flour and the co the cocoa and um, sugar combining. And I'll link the recipe down below. Um, I'm deciding to use all recipes for this one. I find that they had a really good and easy uh, recipe. It was really simple to follow. Um, not too ingredient heavy, as you see here. I'm a real fan of some of the vegan stuff that they do. And then you wanna just check the bottom of the bowl as well, just to make sure there's no outstanding white marks. That would indicate that there's a presence of flour that has not been mixed. Should be good. Um, okay, so next we're gonna do one cup of water. This is where we're gonna mix the liquids now with the uh, um, with the dry stuff. So one cup of water. Let me just grab one really quickly. And our preheating's done, and we're all practically almost there too. So get this one cup of water in here. And we're also going to do one cup of vegetable oil. Okay, you can use vegetable oil. I recommend that the most. I wouldn't say grapeseed oil or olive oil because that would distort this. So yeah, vegetable oil um, would be the best case scenario for baking especially. Um, and then we're going to do one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So there's one teaspoon in there. So let me see how I want to do this. I might use a big spoon for this. So I'm gonna see how I first fare with the whisk before I get resistance going. So I'll try this if um, things get rough. Let me pull up my sleeves just a tad more. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to give it that spoon love because it's mixing well, but it's getting a little stuck with my um, whisk. All you wanna do is just mix it um, until it's well blended. You don't wanna overdo it to make it really tough. So just until you see that there's no more of the dry um, mix. Wanna make sure you also scrape the sides too to make sure also that there's no um, excess powder. And we got this nice, beautiful brownie mix right here. No eggs were needed, no milk was needed, um, no high fructose corn syrup from that like evil uh, box brownie stuff that's just nasty. Um, this is natural made at home and it's all good. So I think that's about mixed. There looks to be nothing on the bottom. Let me see here. So now we're gonna get, we're gonna get um, is a pan. So you can use 9 by 13. Uh, this is an 11 by 7 by 15, but honestly this will work fine. Depends on how thick you want your brownies or how thin you prefer them. So I'll just put it right here. Um, I'm gonna just lightly spray the bottom. I know there's oil in this, but I always have that consciousness up. I don't want it to stick that much. So let me get some big herbal spray. This is just a regular canola spray by Trader Joe's. I coat it just lightly. 
so it doesn't stick. And then what you're gonna do is just take like a nice spoon like this, something that uh, won't stick too much. And you're gonna evenly just distribute it right into the pan, let it sink in and it'll, it'll uh, do the work itself, setting and molding in there. So just scoop it right on out. This is great for parties or great just like for a nice treat for yourself. When it's Friday and you're just tired, you want to sink your teeth right into something nice and comforting. I, I am a sucker for chocolate, honestly. Um, it's really good and amazing quality. And I like to always scrape off the chocolate at the ends too. I, I hate wasting um, food. That's one of my biggest things is when I make something, I like to eat it up. But I shake it now with a tad in the pan just so everything gets evenly distributed. Um, and it should look something just like that. Um, and now I'm gonna throw it in the oven. Uh, you can do this with, for between 25 and 30 minutes. My oven really cooks things really quite faster, so I'm gonna try 20 minutes, see how it comes out. I'll show you, tell you guys about the toothpick test, um, and I'll see you guys when it fully finishes, okay? Okay guys, so we hit the 20 minute mark. I'm gonna do a quick test just to see um, if it's ready. I'm gonna, and this is the toothpick test, okay? So uh, follow me over to the oven right here. So, oh wow, the brownies have rose nice. Um, and what we're gonna do is just take the toothpick, put it in. If we have residue, it still needs to be cooked a little longer. And I like to do it twice in two different spots, and generally polar. Um, bite against each other. You can still see there's a little bit more on there. So yeah, I'm gonna Keep it going just until 25 minutes, maybe 23 I'm just gonna periodically check it because we want to make sure it doesn't look too oily on top that it's kind of cooked off and then also um, That there's no residue But you don't want to do it to where it's too firm either You want to make sure it's nice and moist still because if you get it too firm then um, You're gonna have dry brownies. So I'm gonna add just about I'll do four more minutes and check it once more. Um, but when you guys see me next time, I'll be plating it and tasting it. Um, and that'll be it, okay? So guys, um, the timer uh, beeps, so let's check it one more time just to see if it's all ready. So as you can see, there's a nice thick crust going there now. Um, and when we pull it out, there's not really any residue. So I think it's about ready. Let me just, I'll let that sit for one second while I throw this away. We'll pull it out, and what we're gonna do is just let it cool for about uh, five to 10 minutes. Um, if you need it to serve like automatically, I don't recommend using a metal knife. I recommend using a plastic knife, and I can show you why. It's because a metal knife, the brownie will still stick to a metal knife, and it'll be incredibly hard to screw uh, keep cutting because it'll just keep on sticking, but it won't stick to a plastic knife. It'll make it much easier to cut. So we're just gonna let that cool for about five minutes there, um, and I'll get back to you guys on the plating, okay? Okay, guys. So let's move this right over here. Put it right there. Got mildly cool, but I think it should be ready for plating. So let me get a little spatula here. We don't have one. My luck. <laughs> I'll try my best with the knife anyways. Um, I really wanted a spatula, but it's fine, so let's see here. So we're just gonna make nice, beautiful cuts, and see how smooth this is. No residue left. With a metal knife, if you tried this with hot brownies, it'd just stick completely and it'd be a nightmare. So you just keep going across. Let's see here. So we just make straight lines going across. And let's just plate this one of these. So let's see here. Oh, let's go one more line here. I think they're still gooey a little bit, so this will be good. So. Okay, wait, I really want to spatula. 
let's first now plate our brownies. So they should be now mildly um, cooled. And we've cut into them, so let's see if we can grab a nice one. They're still nice and gooey. Let's grab a side one here. Okay. So as you can see, they're pretty much nice and solid now. Take a bite out of one. Really nice. It's not really too sweet. Um, like, like it's pretty sweet. So it's not like that overly like you like cringe kind of sweet. Really balanced. Really nice. You can add walnuts to this. You can add um. Peanuts, if you find vegan powdered sugar. You could talk with this with strawberries, with ice cream, um, any different number of things really, just regular brownies. Mm. Really good, that's it for this video. I'll put the link down below for the all recipes, um, recipe for this, of how to make the vegan brownie. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, leave a comment down below what you thought of it. Give a like, um, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you guys will know when I'm posting my next video. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye, guys. I fight the world, I fight you, I fight myself. I fight God, just tell me how many burdens left. I fight pain and hurricanes, today I wept. I'm trying to fight back tears, flood on my doorsteps.